Time to log into the Oasis. <laughs> what did he say, Bobby? Then he told me he would do anything in the world for me. And I tried to calm him down. I said, listen, mister, I'm just like anyone else. I'm just a regular person like you. And he wouldn't hear it. He kept telling me over and over and over again how, how he would stop a bullet for me. Does that mean he died for you? Yeah, that's what he was trying to say. But you know, he was just drunk, honey. He didn't mean what he was saying. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell your kids these stories. <laughs> what is this conversation? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, 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 I was a teenage much. You know what? Give these shots more depth. Put some bread right in front of the lens. That's <laughs> where they hit the boom mic. <laughs> the fresh bread right there. <laughs> it comes in at the top of the frame. French bread. It's <laughs> all great. It makes sense on the table, sir. I'm taking a shower, then crashing wins dinner. <laughs> was, that, was, that, was that Super Dave Osborne? <laughs> So, this is me, huh? No, this is a tape. No, no. <laughs> Recording. <laughs> you are crazy. <laughs> yeah, you're more forgotten than I thought. Jesus they Christ. And don't call me Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they couldn't even afford the actor that day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good bit. All right, this is a, a, a fine Christmas film about a, a pornography studio. Uh, one of the, 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 the actresses has a, a, a creepy neighbor who's kind of obsessed with her and stalking her. He just coincidentally lives next to her. She's the, the, the most prominent B-movie actress in Akron, Ohio. <laughs> Debbie Rochon. It's uh, Yeah, played by uh, B-movie scream queen Debbie Rochon, who's been in 527 films. Call us back. <laughs> <laughs> she's usually very good. I've seen plenty of movies with her where she's good, and she's sleeping her way through this Boy, one. Boy, howdy. I guess I just got used to it more and more as time went on, you know? Just got used to the business. I enjoy being called a scream queen now. She said with completely vacant eyes. <laughs> I love like, it. How, how sedated is she? <laughs> she looks like she's ready to fall asleep. Yep. You know, I must have the weirdest resume in the whole world. Man, they sure don't make them like this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, this is the first film movies. we learned that Vicodin could act. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. It's the, it, Vicodin's really good at acting. Yeah, or, I think the, or, the, the drugs they slip those little kids to make them pass out, that's what Debbie Rashawn was yeah. taking oh, before. Oh, I've got something in my purse. It's a Valiums. Channel 9 Showbiz News. And I'm talking with Bruce Brunswick, publisher of Girly Magazines and producer of what is commonly called T&A videos. Whether you realize it or not, Diane, there's a huge market for the stuff we for Porn? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who'd, who'd have guessed? Who, who'd have thunk? This movie's ahead of its time. <laughs> this is a newsworthy story, right? Why I like to be nude. All right, so our, 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 our movie opens up with the, the local news station doing a report. <laughs> at, the the, at the porno film. At the, uh, the porno film yeah. that's being filmed TV in front of a four by five foot <laughs> blue wall. <laughs> as, as the news would report on such an event. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's topical. They're making a Christmas porno. Get the news crew out there. <laughs> Something's going on in New York. <laughs> it's September 11th. Something's going on in New York. We got a bigger story in, in uh, Pittsburgh. <laughs> so, Holly, so Holly so get down and cover this. <laughs> what about that thing that's going on in New York? Huh? Never don't forget about that in a week. They're filming a porno. 
<laughs> a soft core <laughs> porno. Is it even considered porn when it's just someone just kind of dancing in one just spot? Just writhing and dancing. It's just like go-go yeah. dancing, basically. It's, like, yeah. it's just sleaze. Yeah. yeah. And one of the things I appreciate about this movie is that they more than once explain what pornography is. That's Yeah, yeah. yeah just oh, just for, the, right. for the lay person. The girls have beautiful bodies and normal healthy guys enjoy looking at them. They're, they're approaching it from the perspective that the general audience has never seen a naked woman before. Yes. <laughs> and, 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 and why? Yeah. Yes. yeah. Like, why do I want to look at naked women? Oh, the movie told me. Thank God. <laughs> it's new to the general public. Yeah. Ah! This new this new form of entertainment, uh, men will really enjoy. <laughs> it's a lady taking her clothing off. <laughs> it's, it's, that scene actually happens in the film. <laughs> It's, it's it's like it's the 1600s or yeah. something. This is slowly becoming a show where we watch pornography. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long-term goal. And read it. Five dudes in a room. Ho, 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 man! I don't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> Would you answer the door? <laughs> I wish there was, though. See, this feels like the setup for a porno. Yeah, yeah, yeah certainly. Uh, that end fight scene is the most amazing end fight scene I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, That yes. stair sequence. Yes. I'm not Wayne. I'm Santa Claus. Uh, Wayne, 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 stop. F*** off! <laughs> uh, Look out, he's got a gardening tool. Uh, sort of sharp gardening yeah. tool. <laughs> <laughs> the most pathetic slasher. Yeah. This really is. Jesus. So I said about a group of friends, uh, like, it starts with a young group of friends. Yes. And they are on like a, a, a ski resort kind of thing at night. And I don't know, they, everyone has flares. I don't know. Good guy is talking to a, a lady. And a bad guy comes in and says, I, you know, I, that's my lady. No, you back off. She's with me. <laughs> is good guy, good guy's the one who's like perpetually drunk through the whole movie, right? He was born yeah. without a liver. Baby, come on, maybe this time of the will play by my rule. Listen, the lady doesn't want to discuss this any further right now. 250 grand price tag they got in this thing shouldn't make it too hard to resist. <sighs> they have a, 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 a ski off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this music's perfect. Mm -hmm. Who will get to the bottom first? <laughs> maybe blue guy, maybe the other guy. <laughs> I guess good guy wins. Yeah. And also, then we end up going back to like the uh, the cabin and all that kind of stuff. It's a it's a party. It's a it, it's a raucous party with like backwards hat guy. I know that. Well, that guy. guy's got the wacky hat. He's got yeah. the wacky. You know, he's hat. the comic relief. Yeah, he's Jughead. At least it feels like you're watching a movie. <laughs> That's not a pervert's uh, fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah you're right. You're right. They tried a little harder. It feels like you're watching a movie. <laughs> Not the best uh, director of photography here, but... Uh, no, no, but! But, but! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I know what you're saying. There's nobody filming a That's lady. all the director of photography for Santa Claus said! But! 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 but. Bad guy goes into good guy and girl's room, and that's where we get the famous line. <laughs> Jeff! You fuckers! <laughs> 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 you fuckers. <laughs> but it's, it's like he's fantasizing about making out with the woman in the tub while he's making out with her on the bed. Yeah. And it's really weird. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I'd rather be doing this in the tub. Yeah. <laughs> they were making out in the bed. They were making out in the middle of the room by the fireplace, which yeah. we find Everyone's out later. Everyone's just standing around watching. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That's it's because everybody's drunk. Nobody cares. Yes, I can definitely smell shite. Whoa, 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 whoa
Yep. He slipped, yeah. You know, he comes from he, the, and he can't get up. Yeah. Yeah. He comes from the Prometheus school of running away from things. Yeah, right. yeah. just keep running forward. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, no! They what? hit him? Yeah, I, I guess, guess so. Uh, oh. Oh. And boom, he disintegrates. And there's Mustache Man. He's and gone. Honestly, when I say he disintegrates, it, I, I make it sound a lot more interesting than it really is. He gets run over so hard, he turns into his own pants. pants. He just turns into <laughs> pants. <laughs> he turns into pants and ketchup, pretty much. The pants were the only thing to survive. He just had a bunch of ketchup packets in his pants. He's actually alive. He just, he just ran away. He He's took the only his pants one who made off. it. Like well, the girl. he froze to death, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is unrelated. Yeah. It's a cutscene. <laughs> he's, he, he, he's the killer in Ice 2. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Reckoning. Resurrection? Is it Ice T O O? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He wants revenge against the real estate agent's family because his nuts got frostbitten off as he had to run away without his pants. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my balls! <laughs> he lost his valuable collection of ketchup packets. <laughs> But most importantly, I lost my ketchup. He had one from every fast food chain. <laughs> kept him up, I kept him in his cargo pants. Some of those dated back to the 1950s. Yeah, he has the very first McDonald's ketchup packet, mm -hmm. and it's worth. Roy Kroc gave it to him yeah. himself. Yeah, and it got splattered on that snowy ground that one oh, fateful day. <laughs> we're fucking desperate. <laughs> we're fucking desperate I for comedy. When those <laughs> pants weren't cheap. <laughs> <laughs> None of the characters were identifiable, except yeah. we were like, oh, mustache guy. Yeah. First guy they killed. First, he's gone, he's and then gone everybody in like just looks minutes. the same. And yeah. he's like, oh, now I don't know who any of these fucking people are. Oh, no, no, no. no you stepped in both of them. I was hoping when he fell, a third one would clamp on his head. <laughs> or a rake would clamp yeah. on his head. <laughs> uh, no, Jay. How did he get no. all the... Wait. No. Wait, what? What? You step in a bear trap, you bleed out of your coat. <laughs> <laughs> and your coat starts bleeding, don't you know that? Why, what? Ugh, oh, gross. Is, oh, this is very important to the plot, I'm sure. Is it a tiny bear trap in that? <laughs> <laughs> it's filled with razors. Oh! Somebody set that out for him? Did it poison him? Oh, no. Nope, just nope. stab just him just in the him. shoulder. <laughs> Oh, that was exciting. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have eaten that pie. <laughs> they literally lured him there with a delicious slice of pie. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this looks good. When she ran outside without pants, mm -hmm. she should have found Mustache Guy's pants. Oh, hey. <laughs> that would have been perfect. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Those ketchup -y pants. <laughs> Ooh, this is a 1952 McDonald's. <laughs> That's worth something. Well, Silent Night, Deadly Night, Part 2, picks up after the events of Silent Night, Deadly Night, Part 1. And if you haven't seen that film, don't, don't worry. worry. Yeah, don't worry about it. Because the first... <laughs> We timed it. We looked at the, the counter. The first 40 minutes it's, are a recap of Silent Night, Deadly Night, Part 1. It's almost literally the first half of the movie. Yes, almost exactly. The, the killer in the first movie is Billy. Mm -hmm. uh, Ricky is his younger brother, who was in the first film. Uh, but now he's That's the main baby. character. Yeah. We've had more actors playing the same character than the Terminator franchise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. John Connor ain't got nothing on Ricky. On Ricky. <laughs> Jay thinks 50% of a movie is okay. <laughs> in, in the case of this movie, yes, I do. Because once we get to the new stuff, it's, it's, it's magic. What does this have to do with anything? <laughs> the killer Santa Claus. Oh, it's raining. It's raining. What's his name? It's uh, Eric Freeman. Eric Freeman. Fucking masterful. 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 Yeah. Enthralling. He is so intense and he is so committed. Yes, he's 100% behind what he is doing. Yeah. Which is appropriate because he's playing somebody who is committed. Come on. He comes across this this elderly couple. <laughs> <not> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he 
<laughs> and there, there were actually 22 in the film, but you know, it's the yeah. 80s and yeah. And the elderly man was 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 getting really abusive with the woman, which gives him flashbacks to when he was a baby and he remembered and that the, his mother was. And this guy is talking like a shit kicking cowboy. I do want. But I'm twice your age. <laughs> your mom's my best friend. <laughs> I'm your aunt. Naughty. Ricky steals his Jeep, which is red, and that's oh, yeah. that's important. Red. That's I his, guess. his triggering it, color. It, it's so important. Yeah. It has an exclamation point at the end of it. Just because it's a horror movie, you expect for her to freak out, go ah, and to be mowed down herself. But instead, thank you. She seems okay with it. Thank you. <laughs> One of my favorite parts you were talking about uh, when we were watching the movie was when he gets a hold of the cop's gun or his rampage. Well, that's essentially. Oh, oh, that's the centerpiece of the film. So we start with him exploding this guy with the uh, chip. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, what did Chip do now? He was kind of a jerk. He was a jerk. And this is this is uh, Ricky's motivation to to blow his eyeballs out That's with, fine. with That's fine. with this car battery. Ricky is fucking psychotic. Yeah, well, this yeah. This is fine. Yeah. Punish. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Go. Because oh, oh. that's when he loses it. At, the, at that point, he's no longer like the good guy who only kills bad people. He just starts oh, yeah. There's fucking a, everyone. He kills Chip, he kills his girlfriend, the and cop, he, Bernie Fife shows it up. It is so much fun. Yeah. You stand right there. Right there. <laughs> Your hat's crooked. So. Oh, come on, Bernie Fife. I've been serious. drinking. Uh, Why is his hat crooked? Okay. <laughs> You can't stop them, Ron Howard. Oh, they fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's why his hat's crooked. So yeah. he could do the, the thing on his forehead, and you would see it. Uh, they had to have it tilted up. No, I have a gun. Oh. 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 <laughs> hey, what's going on? Oh, my God. And he gets shut down. Wasn't yeah. he taking out the trash? He was holding up a trash can. That was can. a different guy. Oh no, no, God, no that's the next guy. That's the famous scene. Yeah. Garbage day! No. <laughs> 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 Just want to make sure we all caught that. It's a really bad day in Sherman Oaks. <laughs> yeah. That's oh, right. Yes, it's, it's garbage it's, day. It's, it's that famous. That's garbage day. It's garbage yeah. it's, day. It's right here. Yeah. This was like like a, a meme before memes were a thing. Mm -hmm. The whole garbage day thing is if if anybody knows this movie, it's for garbage day. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the music swells. It's all of a sudden like really epic as he's yeah. walking around this little suburban neighborhood, just music, laughing yeah. and, and shooting somehow at they kind of turn him into a hero, or, or at least someone you're rooting for. It's it's like falling down. You're rooting for Kirk Douglas and falling exactly. down. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Or Michael Douglas, not Kirk. <laughs> so, some kind of Douglas. Kirk Douglas will be one of the Douglases. Kirk Douglas is still alive. He'll be in the remake. They're gonna do a remake of this movie with Kirk Douglas. It's just him falling down the stairs. Oh God! That's why he's falling down. <laughs> Kirk Douglas and falling down. <laughs> falling down the stairs. <laughs> That'll be the subtitle, Falling Down to The Stairs. The stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Kirk Douglas, by the way, we have to point out, is still alive. Oh, okay, I was about to say that. I'm pretty sure he's still alive. Oh, hello there, big fella. How'd you like to give a little something to Santa? Uh, oh, well, well, here they actually take it from the yeah, guy. Exactly. Right? 
No, no, we should have to see him go to the thrift shop around the corner. <laughs> Where did you, you buy, buy that one? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Bought it at the mountain Excuse me, you store. rude man. Look, they didn't even have to film a scene. Yeah, nope. It was yeah. all off camera. Yep. It was all yep. audio. Yeah. Yep. They told it visually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, they figured out a way to do it creatively. Yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah, we don't have to hire an actor. We don't have to try and film a fight scene. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Silent Night, Deadly Night 2 is bad, but it does feel like we did the best we could with the three days we had to film the movie. Cinema. You're going to get a Santa Claus costume and you establish a Santa Claus guy who works for the Red Cross. But see, they don't even show his costume. They don't even show it, but it works better than this. Yeah. 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 So then we get what we've always wanted to see, Santa Claus versus a woman in a wheelchair, (laughs) a hundred year old woman. Who did surprisingly well. She did great. She She did did better than anyone else in the movie. She needed to use the power of Jesus with with like electrical bolts and like magic. That would have been great. Because she had supernatural powers as a nun. Like, (laughs) and he's like, He's deflecting the electrical ball. He's like, garbage day! <laughs> he has a garbage can lid. Yeah. Blocking the, the, the Christ bolt. <laughs> she has powers as a nun, other than just being crippled and deformed. <laughs> she, can do, she can do something. Oh my god! Wait, how'd she get her wheelchair back? Uh, she has another one downstairs? <laughs> Why does she live upstairs? I wanted to see her hit like a button for the, the secret wheelchair to pop up. Her, Comes emer- up from the, her emergency yeah. wheelchair. Is she sure. Batman? <laughs> <laughs> Since it was the future, she needed like a hover chair. <laughs> she starts like, flying around him. It had like missile launching <laughs> capabilities on it. <laughs> They have a crucifix missiles. <laughs> it's got like a roar that waves around. <laughs> it's got like a... <laughs> That's a reference to the John Landis film. <laughs> the Blues Brothers. Yeah. That's a good movie. Yeah, that's a good movie. Yeah, that's yeah. a good movie. Yeah. Too bad for that tragedy. Yeah. You are being very, very naughty. Naughty this. <laughs> oh sure, why not? Yeah, no, exactly. Naughty, That's the first thing that came to his mind. Naughty this. Naughty this. Naughty this. Right. He's been dreaming about this night for 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Naughty this. <laughs> oh my god. Go ahead. Yeah. I know. I, I think I know what you're gonna I know. pick. I, my pick for best of the worst is is Santa Claus. <laughs> Your antics have become predictable. Right, well, no, I'm not being a contrarian. What's, you what's, are. What's your reason? Yeah. My reason is I've seen uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 1. But you hadn't seen Silent Night, Deadly yeah, Night Part but, 2. Yeah, but it, it was a, most of the movie was Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 1 and Guy <laughs> talking to Guy interviewing him in a uh, asylum room or a hospital room or whatever. Boring. Until, until it wasn't that anymore. Boring. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this one, dick. I've never seen a movie quite like that before. You know, you know, you're right, Mike. I've never seen a movie quite like that before. I'm going to change my vote. <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going with Santa Claus. All right. You know what? I've never seen a movie like Ice before. It was bored out of my mind. So that's my pick for best of the worst. Honestly, the ending of Ice kind of really tickled my, my pink. Yeah. And so, yeah. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm switching to ice uh, okay, also. Okay, so we have two ice. <laughs> no, one ice. Two, two ice. Two ice. Uh, two ice. My yeah. pick is ice because I've never seen a movie All like right. it you know, you know what? I decided I really like breasts. 
I really like breasts. <laughs> like, well, you, you so like, I have to go with Santa Claus. And how do you know what you like breasts? <laughs> you like disgusting. Was it explained to you yeah, in the movie? They explained to me in the movie why oh, I what? like breasts. It's educational. You didn't know what pornography <laughs> was before this. You <laughs> learned something. I yeah. learned, yes. You know, uh, Rich, you make a very good point. I changed my vote. Santa Claus. All right. <laughs> well, fuck, I'm a good on the bandwagon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Santa, yeah. Claus. Okay. Santa Claus is the, the fucking best. worst thing we watched tonight. Is now best of the worst. Santa Claus is and best not of the, the most worst. entertaining one with a great lead performance and many, many, many funny scenes. And the mo and the. And you know what? I'm going to vote to destroy Silent Night, Dead Tonight too. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, they reused that other movie. <laughs> they shouldn't be rewarded That's so for that. cheap. <laughs> and it's on Blu-ray too. What yeah. a, what a terrible format <laughs> compared to VHS. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, is the cheapest movie we saw. Yeah. So I think we're all in agreement. We're gonna destroy <laughs> something. <laughs> this is the worst Christmas ever. <laughs> it ain't worth it. Uh, it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. What is it, Mike? It is. Uh, sexual intercourse. What is it, Mike? Uh, it, it is a clown named Pennywise <laughs> who appears in the Bunny Dreams video. <laughs> uh, it's somewhere in the background. He's drooling <laughs> over all those delicious children to eat. Um, you like sex? Is it worth this thing? <laughs> we all float down here. Hi, I'm Barry Sanders of the Detroit Lions. I want to give you a serious message. <laughs> Playing basketball. Oh, yeah, why did you have a basketball? <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, how are you going to recognize him? When I'm him? on the You would never iron. guess he was a basketball player if he wasn't holding the basketball. He's not. Player. He's a football player. Oh, was he? Yeah. 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 Oh, I missed that. He was like one of the That's best what, running just, backs, if not the best yeah. running back. It just oh. wrecked my brain. He's like, I'm Barry Sanders. And I'm like, I'm a ball. he's like, from the Detroit Lions. And I'm like... <laughs> Like, I know Barry Sanders. He's a football they player. That's because football, whoever made this just thought they were having basketball <laughs> players. So when he showed up on the set, those are the basketball props are uh, the only props uh, they have. Bring your... <laughs> but it did help in the end with the slamming video. <laughs> there was a slamming uh, rap video at the end. Man, I'm through. I'm down with the honeys. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Wait, you're in the middle of a game. <laughs> This has never happened before. <laughs> it's unprecedented. This is the longest He's opening to a fucking video ever. <laughs> oh, that's the basketball player rapping. Mm -hmm. This was ho a whole front just to, to kickstart his rap career. But any self-respecting rapper isn't going to take him seriously. Now he's rapping about abstinence. The point of this is, uh, we were trying to figure it out while we were watching it. Is it abstinence for Jesus or abstinence for the sake of not getting STDs and mm -hmm. unwanted teenage pregnancies? Mm -hmm. we, the, there was the meter. Wait, wait. She just, she just like, uh, like condoms don't do anything. Yeah. The meter's hit going towards Jesus now. Sure. That could surprise some people that that abortion is legal throughout the, the whole nine months of pregnancy. Jesus, 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 Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I think the video, I don't know who made it. Who made it? Let's see. The subject is sex. That's right. Here we go. The S word. S-E-X. This is absolutely a Christian thing. This is Dave Robinson, the San Antonio Spurs. Before you make a mistake, wait and think. No, I don't think it is. Hi, I'm Barry Sanders of the Detroit Lions. I want to give you a serious message about safe sex. Yeah, I'll tell you. I'll tell you why. Okay, go ahead. Be, be, you, if you're a Christian and you want to spread the message to schools, public schools, about abstinence, you can't put a video in public schools that says Jesus says you can't have sex. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. So you just leave Jesus out of it. And just say, don't have sex, because yes. drugs or AIDS Because that or is whatever. the point of this video, is not be responsible. The point of this video is don't have sex ever under any circumstance. Yeah, if this were a video that were just concerned about children, uh, teenagers getting STDs, yeah. then they would say, here's how you properly use a condom. Yeah. Not condoms ever work. You can't use that, just don't have sex. Well, they don't never work. 50% of the time they don't Yeah, 50% of the time. Just to scare you, and then the girl brought out a quarter and said, watch me flip this quarter. Is it heads or tails? Tails, you got gonorrhea. Heads, 
You got gonorrhea. For simplicity's sake, she should have brought out a 50 cent piece. Because 25, I think 25%, you know? Yeah, yeah. that could have confused nah. people. If you get the JFK side up, you've got all the STDs. <laughs> Hi, I'm Daryl Green of the Washington Redskins. Hey y'all, let me tell you the real truth about abstinence. Release the Kraken! Uh, our second tape was Second Chance versus Magnum Force, which, oh god, I... This was magical. It, it's just a magical moment in history. <laughs> Richard, Richard Davis is a man... Rich Davis. Rich Davis, who was... Who is Roger Ebert in disguise? <laughs> uh, <laughs> With a little twinge of John Candy Rick and Rick Moranis. Moranis. Yeah, visually, is John Candy meets Rick Moranis. The uh, purpose of what I'm trying to illustrate to you here today uh, is uh, to show you, uh, to show you. Eh. His voice, I think you figured it out like halfway through the tape, yeah. it, uh, identical to Roger Ebert. But the car, the tire does not explode like you see in the... Uh, it kind of sounds like Roger Ebert. Traditionally held in the movies. You know? That, yeah! That, yeah. Uh, 56 pounds of beef, that corresponds to, I don't know what, five or six year old kid. I'm gonna love hearing these voices side by side. I hated, hated, hated this movie. That's a statement I made many times while leaving the screening room. And now here, for a bullet to have enough energy to physically knock a human being backwards, our son would have to be to my so taste, powerful my intelligence and that my patience the man who fired that the shot was also revenge. knocked backwards. That's simple physics, reviews. and you can't get away oh, from yeah. it. Oh, yeah. I know you're going to do that. Oh, of course. So, so Second Chance versus Magnum Force is an amazing, amazing tape made by this man called Richard Davis. And this tape, it's basically a, a, a gun bulletproof vest video. He's selling his products, but he didn't think that was enough to make the video entertaining. So he interspersed it with uh, dramatic recreations. Oh my God! <laughs> Not Uncle well, Phil. And hilarious comedy skits. It's it's a gun enthusiast variety show. Yeah, it's, it's like almost the best way to. It's like he offer gun nuts. <laughs> uh, we we've got we've got uh, uh, real life testimonials. Yes. Uh, we've got comedy skits. Uh, and we've got a lot of just gun porn. Yeah. What we're gonna try to do now is uh, dispel some misconceptions people have about what handgun bullets, and even shotguns for that matter, will do to a running automobile. Yeah, that's how the video starts, is him sh uh, shooting a car till the interior catches on fire, which I don't think that's realistic either, but it happens. No, it's re it's realistic. It must be real because it happened in the video. I think he I think he has a weird heart on for guns, and that's okay. That's, that's a pretty good assumption. That, that opening, though, was amazing <laughs> because was... he has his grandmother's Cadillac out there, and he's like... We didn't he's... even know what the video was about at this point. It just right. cuts to... It just starts with him shooting a car. It's it starts with like random skits of like judges letting um, yeah, prisoners out on the streets. Like, and, you know, well, everybody should just, they didn't do anything wrong, just let them out on the street. He hasn't raped anybody in five years. This inmate hasn't committed any armed robberies, rapes, or murders in the last five years. Yeah, that's because we've had his rotten ass locked up for the last five years. <laughs> yeah, he's perfectly cool. <laughs> Well, I don't know about that, uh, but the prison is overcrowded and we've got 10 new inmates coming in tomorrow. He has like a handful of machine guns and he's like, ah, and then he moves up to like the 50 caliber. Like, he's like, ah, well, if you have a bulletproof vest on this, isn't going to help, but I might as well shoot up my grandmother's Cadillac. <laughs> he's like, if you happen to run into a thug or a terrorist, yeah. like, what are you going to be walking around well, with he's this like, thing? He's basically saying you can walk around with a gun like that, but your aim is going to be terrible. A weapon we hope you will never have to face as a law enforcement officer is a belt-fed machine gun. If you ever should have to run into a big-time terrorist, drug smuggler, whatever, with one of these, there's uh, not too much you can do except kill him. Yeah. But here it is on a, on a tripod. Just for fun, let's and blow I'm this just car gonna up. shoot this car up. And you see the tracer bullets, like, <laughs> and he's like, mm, just nailing this car with caliber it's, bullets. And I was like, this is crazy. This it's, is amazing! It's fucking awesome! It's, it is awesome. <laughs> He's a pretty manly man. He, is. he can't lift 350 <laughs> pounds. <laughs> Hardcore Ebert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just 
survivalist Ebert. <laughs> wow, he's, this he's... is just him showing off that he can lift weights. What does this have to do with anything? Join my militia. I can't do it six times if I really want it. I am stronger than most. Wow. He makes sure you know that. <laughs> how many times did he lift it? And then how long did it? He did it three times. And then he put a text on the bottom of the screen that said, I could have done it six. <laughs> <laughs> However much weight it was, he was fucking uh, out of breath for the he next ten minutes. Like, he, he fucking pressed like four times. He's yeah. just like, <laughs> and then set it down. It's like, now I'm going to carry you. Oh. <laughs> now I'm going to carry you. In fact, Second Chance Soft Body Armor has had... Approximately 200. He's out of breath. He's fucking winded. <laughs> I'm stronger than most. <laughs> you could cut. You could cut. You know, wait a few minutes. Yeah, you do a second take. The feminist thought police show up mm -hmm. and they take care of this whole incident. We're the feminist thought police. Feminist thought police? That's right. We're clairvoyant feminists who can read sexist thoughts. You can. You can read. Read your mind? Yes, we can. This girl is 12. <laughs> Because after one too many, <laughs> from our host, the feminist thought police come in. Yeah. After he was literally beating his meat, <laughs> <laughs> hacking his meat, hacking his meat hard. Other uh, other punishments. What what other punishments? This. Oh! Why are you dressed like that? Well, to please men. We'll have to re-educate you. Come with me. Wow. <laughs> wow, yes! <laughs> well, that was exciting, sir. I'm sure that's not right. Oh, oh my god! Lightning left his tinkos! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> well, <laughs> some kids stole a couple magazines from a shop from a from a like a gas like a gas station or like near 7-eleven or any type of uh, little kids stole comic books from a gas station a gas station they run in they hide in their fort yep and shooting fake guns and they're like yeah we got everything yeah 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 their children's play fort yes their children's play fort their guns are orange and they're just like capping off uh, and then they go in there to momentarily later get surrounded by cop cars and cops with shotguns and ballistics and grenades <laughs> to fucking take they care don't of even the hesitate pinko to pull out the grenade. Surrounded oh implies God. there was a standoff. The yeah. cops just okay, get out so, of their yeah. car and start plugging away at these kids. And these kids are in there for all we know, just being like, oh, this is fucking awesome. You see that bra? Not We're for long. Available for. <laughs> Let him have it! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my fucking god! This is the best black fight ever! They're just unloading every piece of You could see how f much fun those guys were having. They're just like, yes! <laughs> They're in there, right? That's it. That's it. That's <laughs> like now learning about this video, what does a bullet shot feel like if you're wearing a vest? Getting poked by a pool cue. Yeah, just a poke. That and that's what makes you put your foot on that gas pedal and run that down. <laughs> <laughs> and run down that, that, uh, that filthy the punk. punk. That filthy uh, <laughs> New Order fan. Uh, no, they wanted to go see Poison. And mom dropped him out at the corner of Highway 33 and it's Teresa. The closest I'm going to town today. Call yep. line Z. She's like, and they got dropped off. Now we gotta wait off. for somebody. Yeah. Fuck you. I'm just gonna <laughs> shoot a random car. That Depeche Mode fan fires two shots through your windshield. You hit the gas. You hit the gas. All bets are off. You know? Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Did you check on him when he was going to work to see if he had his vest on? Not before he got shot. I used to think he was silly sometimes for wearing it to court and stuff, but I would never let him go out of the house now without one. It's like, I got shot. Yeah, I used to make fun of my husband leaving the house when he wore his bulletproof vest, but then one day he did get shot. I just, 
wanted to make a baby. How old's that baby? <laughs> 10 months old. When did he get shot? Eight months ago. <laughs> Nine months and one day old. <laughs> Nine months and one day old. I figured, hey, you know. It's like, I was wrong about cheating. Can I shoot you each year like Rich does? Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Richard, D Richard Davis. If you let me shoot you each year like Rich Davis does himself, I will let you poke me forever. <laughs> Come on. We've got a nice little five pound pumpkin here. And the first thing we have to do is get the top off. So why did your wife leave you? <laughs> And they want a great big, huge knife. And how did she die? <laughs> and they reach in the drawer and pull out something that you could probably win the Peloponnesian Wars with. Uh, Mr. Gord Gordon Falk, AKA Gordy Falk, he stands outside of his home and it's a stone building and it looks like, like a house you'd see in Wauwatosa, Wisconsin. Sure. And so I was like, yep. okay, oh, yeah. I'm so embarrassed. Another Midwestern <laughs> drunken man with giant glasses in 1988 is making a video. I carve between 500 and 800 different pumpkins every Halloween. So that's about three, 4,000 pumpkins in the last eight years. You want to make sure that the top, when it rests... Pumpkins are terrible. <laughs> I mean, aren't they? That's yeah. why I held on to this. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're not good. This is the face that you carve. It's going over too far. <laughs> what? <laughs> that looks he like is shit. Not Harold. Good. Harold, you suck. <laughs> I'm gonna use... Is he drunk? <laughs> what if it's like... The one question I have about Gordy Falk, right? I think I joked that Gordy was carving pumpkins as part of therapy for his post-traumatic stress disorder. <laughs> um, because he's like, he's like, uh, I gotta carve 2,000 pumpkins in, in 24 hours. <laughs> and we're like, that's why they all look terrible. And we're like, why is he carving 2,000 pumpkins? Carving aren't the horrified I, faces from Nam. I, am, I imagine. <laughs> These were my friends. Yeah, yeah. I imagine his kitchen. His kitchen is filled with pumpkins everywhere, right? Yeah. And then it's like, it's like he's like he's like rambling, and he's wearing like the Clark Griswold, like like. <laughs> What is he doing with these thousands of pumpkins? He's trying to distract himself from how miserable he is because his wife left him and took the kids. Okay, that that's fine. Is he is he distributing them throughout the neighborhood? Like he's... no, we see the outside of his house. It's just at the end of the video stacked everywhere. At the end of the now, it's... does he carve pumpkins because she left him, or did she leave him because he carves pumpkins? Oh, that's the chicken and the egg question. I'm thinking it's a it's a depressing coping mechanism. <laughs> okay. So she left him for other reasons, yeah. alcoholism perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like if she did leave and he does this to get attention, he's doing a very good job. Not due to the video, but if anybody's in his neighborhood, they know that this house is eventually going to have 800 <laughs> fucking lit up pumpkins in front of his house. That's the house with the pumpkins, dear. Cross the street. Yeah. Cross Just the street. walk on the far side of the street, watch it, like take a quick picture, but get the fuck out of there because <laughs> he is going to come for you. The video officially titled Develop Your Psychic Powers. Not how to or not you can. Just fucking do it Just already. Develop, develop your psychic them. powers. No guarantee on whether or not you will or won't. Just Eh, develop. I make no claims. <laughs> it should say I make no claims, but it's just develop your psychic powers. Don't you mean I make no claims? <laughs> Hi, I'm Lydney Burns. This video is produced by Tim and Eric. Hey, everybody. I don't know if you know that. Yeah, I don't it, it looks claims. like a Tim and Eric sketch. I don't know. I don't know. I'm in the dark. Uh, well, first she like pops into the frame. Hi, I'm Lydney Burns. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. I'll help you discover your own natural psychic talents and use them. 
And it, and it made us all laugh because it looked like a like a Tim and Eric sketch. Yeah. Well, she does it multiple times yeah. in a row. It's and, like she'll pop into frame, next shot, she pops into frame again. And whoever shot this, whoever was the DP or whatever, was like, oh, I'm going to do this thing. I'm going to oh, do Dutch yeah. angles. It's such a bad I'm decision. I'm going to do this, like, 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 you know, documentary style, like, interviewing thing. And it was all bad. Mm -hmm. But she's like, okay, you know, stretch. And, uh, the People are green screened onto a Magic Eye poster. Oh, was that green screen? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're sitting on the purple oh. sponge. She got Korean John Travolta from Saturday Night Fever <laughs> to show up. Uh, and and it's like, oh, some random black lady and a Native American lady, and they're all like. That's why it looks like a Tim and Eric sketch, because they would like drag weirdos off the street and put them in their sketches. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she's like, okay, everybody stretch. First off, first things, always stretching. It's a good way to stretch the running time of the video. Yeah, relax, 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 put your feet yes, on the ground. Yes. This has nothing to do with actual psychic powers. It's just a warm up. Well, there are no such relax. thing. There is no such thing as actual psychic powers. It's all made up. And I'm the guy that believes in ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> and I think this lady's a fraud. And I want you to think of someone you truly love or something you really love and see what that feels like in your gut. Because some of you don't have someone. <laughs> <laughs> she was very careful. Some of the, I know. <laughs> the, the viewers of her tape series are lonely, <laughs> lonely but cat ladies. Thing, right? <laughs> I'm thinking of my 12 cats. <laughs> So, presumably you're watching this to do the exercise. How are you going to watch this at the pool? Yes! Oculus. Yes! Waterproof Oculus! Very carefully. I'm just, I'm just trying to imagine some schmuck, like, every time they want to work out, they got to drag their TV outside and, and try to figure out how to hook up the VCR. Get the extension cord. And... Or just put it up against their the sliding door window and just yeah. be like, if it was like today and you have like, like if you're rich and you have this, this like lavish pool outside and you have like a, like a flat screen TV hooked up and you're just, well, sure. <laughs> okay, Many Carol Baskin, let's, let's do it. Pool. Yeah. But, yeah. but in 1988, yeah, you have to, you have the five electrical outlets and your, your TV weighs 500 pounds. Yeah. Your TV and you have to roll it on the cart. And it's like teetering on the edge of your pool and you're, you're trying to dance in your pool and it's, it's very dangerous. Yeah. The neighbors want to come by and like some dude is like, go take laps behind you. Are you what are you watching on your TV? Oh, you, you weren't in the room. There's a guy swimming laps like in front of oh, the, yeah, in no, the foreground. Oh yeah, I saw the guy. And right they have to beginning. awkwardly like zoom in a bit yeah, so you don't yeah, see him. Fuck, he's in the frame again. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll start. By trying to concentrate on being together. That guy's like, fuck you. Try to do my laps, motherfuckers. Pendulum, side to side. Three, two, turn right, hit that cross country striding. Nice. So now that we've traced alcohol's path into the body, here comes the next question How does it get out? So it's all about telling kids about how drunking is not cool. <laughs> or adults. Or adults. I think it's but for it's, adults. That's look, the weird thing. You gotta look at the crowd because there is a quick shot to a couple which are like eighth graders <laughs> dressed as adults and one has suspenders. This is because they didn't have enough hair. people to fill the the, the But the thing theater. is there's only a few shots where they shoot the teachers that are the majority uh, the majority of the crowd are middle-aged kids. Yeah. And the, <laughs> what? The middle-aged, no, like the mid, middle, middle school kids. kids. <laughs> hey, we're middle-aged kids, Rich. We are middle-aged kids. We're middle-aged kids, Rich. I mean, that is appropriate. Yeah. yeah. What do you I get to do to that. fucking get paid? Watch <laughs> shitty videos, <laughs> Rich. One, three, I know. I'm gonna leave it. Okay, okay. When three out of the four of us Sorry. outlived Elvis, we're middle aged. Kids. <laughs> yeah, we're middle aged. Kids. Middle school kids. They don't say if you drink too much alcohol, there's a 50% chance you'll die. 
or have sex or have <laughs> STDs. If or you drink alcohol, there's a 50% chance you'll have sex. <laughs> that's, I think I mean, that's, 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 I believe that more than I believe anything in the uh, abstinence video. Even if video. no one's around. <laughs> That's a crummy what? time, though. Why is my dog looking at me funny? My, oh, oh boy. My or my grandma. <laughs> yes, um, the host uh, appeared to be drunk, and that seemed to be setting the tone that it was okay for everybody else to get in that condition. Once again, it is 1988, so oh, all weird. the monkeys were alive. Davy Jones. The only Peter one they could Tork, get is Mickey. And Mickey Dolenz was the one who was then like, Yeah, I'm fucking talking about drinking. <laughs> a typical American male is um, about eight years old, driving a big truck with a gun. Idiot, 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 <laughs> idiot. Every film. Idiot. Oh my. Well, I think medically, when somebody's had too much to drink, we the term we use is intoxicated. You know, they're inebriated. They're out of control. Embarrassing, I think. The people in drunk are embarrassing. Plastered, uh, wiped out, sloshed. Please, for the last time, you're too drunk please, to drive home. Please, I'll be all right. Please, it'll be okay. Just let him go. Girls, girls, just, okay. let, just let the jerk wreck his car. Come on, we're gonna have some fun. Come on. Come on. They, they filmed it on like their local uh, theater stage. And you hear, it's like echo. The whole thing has echo to it. I've learned so much. How can I remember it all? He looks like he got mangled in a car wreck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like nah, a children's policy. show about a roadkill bunny. <laughs> a roadkill, yeah. That's what oh I'm my god. <laughs> Look out for the clown behind you. <laughs> oh, there's John Bonet Ramsey. <laughs> Before she got murdered. Oh no! After she got murdered. <laughs> oh, you're not gonna make it in the industry. <laughs> she found out. She's just like, I did not do a good job. I need a professional mime and Jean Benet Ramsey's dead body. <laughs> so the. John Benet Ramsey's dead body won't move? No, the mime won't move. <laughs> we need to figure out a way to animate John Benet Ramsey's body. <laughs> well, there's, well, there's the, the, the titular dream bunny, which I think is probably the, the most important thing to talk about, because that's, that's their wannabe Barney. That's the star attraction. Yeah. And, and dream bunny looks more like something out of a nightmare. <laughs> Did I hear someone talking about me? This bunny's terrifying. It looks like a sloth. <laughs> oh, so oh, I saw many a boom. Years ago, Michael, during a time oh, God, the mouth moves. That makes it worse. Just like the fucking dog's mouth from that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to make the next Barney. And it's Dream Bunny. <laughs> it's Estelle Getty. In a, in a, in a, like a, like a little living room. And there's snow outside. But we're from California, so we think snow falls like hot tar <laughs> outside the window. It's foam. <laughs> it's just pouring out. I got these white marbles. <laughs> snow weighs more than lead, and it's <laughs> and it's falling outside the window. And Estelle Getty is teaching children with a little with a little bunny, and they accidentally bought a, a stuffed sloth. <laughs> from the Australian gift shop. And they're like, yeah, bunny, slot, I don't know. We're Californians. All we know about is bottled water and, and fine dining and earthquakes. <laughs> we don't know anything. We're stupid. <laughs> um, I guess it's a bunny. I've only seen bunnies on, on the Cadbury egg commercials. <laughs> A sloth is a bunny, right? We're Californians. We're brain dead. <laughs> um, let's make a program like Barney. Embarrassing, I think. People in drunk are embarrassing. Um, here's Estelle Getty. Hold this, this stuffed sloth and pretend it's a bunny and tell these, this, this little diverse group of children. And, and one John Wayne Gacy. And one John Wayne Gacy <laughs> that, that when you fall asleep, 
you go into Magic Land, which is a set of a local community theater. Yes. With bubbles and a, a sloth who looks like he got hit by a truck <laughs> and has PTSD, uh, walks around and goes Brrr. Plastered, uh, wiped out, sloshed. And magic happens, just magic happens. We don't need the details. Uh, Dreamland, magic, button, period. Button makes it happen. We don't need to do the work. It's a children's show, Barney, etc. Button makes, ma makes the magic happen. Boom. Yeah. There are several mimes. Yeah. Which is odd. Yeah. It's an odd choice. It's so odd, it makes me wonder if this wasn't dreamed up by the mimes. Because you're, 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 you're a person, and for whatever reason, for whatever deranged reason, you decide, I'm going to be a mime. And then you go to mime school, <laughs> and you, you learn how to be a mime. And then you, you graduate mime school, and they give you your miming diploma. Yeah. And then you're sitting around there with your graduating class, and like, what do we do now? <laughs> <laughs> and someone just said, children's show? <laughs> and then we get Dream Bunny. Do they give you an actual diploma or do they just... <laughs> oh, uh, promo. Yeah, we, we could call it a pilot. Well, I, I thought it said Dream Bunny porno. Uh, I was horribly uh, confused. Oh, that's your, that's your own tapes at home. Uh, yeah. Do you want to come? Not now. Maybe later. <laughs> we don't bring that to the show. That would be kind of embarrassing. It's a stuff film. <laughs> a stuff film. A stuff film. Uh, <laughs> I'm, oh, there's I'm so, so much. I'm so glad that landed. That <laughs> doesn't deserve an applause. in here. <laughs> Rich. To use. Produced by Bill the Bear. <laughs> A stuff if there's film. two different types of down in a video. <laughs> <laughs> it's not an original idea, but they tried. <laughs> Stop or my mom will make a dream bunny costume. <laughs> I stopped. Too late. Too late. Sorry, Sorry, I made it. Legs. <laughs> Ow, old people. Oh. oh, look, we got a mutant. Oh, oh my god. Now. It's Slade Craven. <laughs> I told you we get you. Oh, maybe don't do close ups of the makeup. <laughs> oh my god. He only comes out at night. That's his character. <laughs> oh, yeah. Use your guns. Oh. What? All the bullets hit the metal tailpipe. <laughs> Wouldn't that put holes in the metal tailpipe? No, no, no. It's, yeah. it's, it's super ricochets. Metal. It's a, it's a super metal. That's how it lasted in the post apocalypse. All their bullets came together and hit each other. <laughs> He's really lucky. Whoa! Whoa! Oh. Rachel, it's Lincoln and his goons. Who's Lincoln? He's got Tess. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> it just happened. Uh, they're right all, now. They're all so bad. Shut up. Gentlemen, may I present Mariko from Tokyo, Japan, one of the world's leading laser experts. <laughs> all right. Hi, I'm a laserologist. <laughs> I like that they're shooting in a sound room. Yeah. <laughs> There's, there's where the recording booth is. Yeah. It looks sciencey. I'm it's okay with it. Whoa! Like, or some kind of sonic weapon? It might make sense. <laughs> yeah. Right. Someone's gonna get kicked! That was oh, she's a kick fighter! That was a knee, that was a knee! That doesn't count as a kick. Oh no. Kick! Kick! kick. Oh. One! Get him! Get him! Get him! Two! Two. Three! Oh my god. Your daughter is dust. Understand. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, this guy is good. That man teleported firecrackers <laughs> onto that computer. <laughs> he emailed him fireworks. 
It does feel a little bit like those like those YouTube videos that are made up uh, from algorithms. <laughs> where, where they're just called, like, Frozen Elsa Pregnant Spider-Man Hulk. Oh, yeah, the ones that YouTube's trying to crack down on. Exactly. So, like, this feels like it was created just from an algorithm of awesome stuff. And it's like, cops are cool, karate's awesome, karate cop. Yeah, post-apocalypse, uh, Indiana Jones. Yeah. Breast. <laughs> just one? Huge, bouncing breast. <laughs> Why are you saying it's singular? <laughs> So I'm breasts. I'm saying it plural. You said no. breasts. Did everybody I know hear it breasts? It sounds like that. I am trying. At the very least, I am trying. Were you trying to say yes. breasts? To yes. It legitimately sounded like you were just saying breasts. To be fair to Rich, whatever. In that one, in that one shot, it did look like only one was bouncing. Well, it looked like one was trying to escape early on. So there's that. It's uh, open. You, you, you can just reach it and take. We can clearly see that it's open. Oh, okay. Uh, no, he's oh, he's doing the Indiana he's Jones doing thing. the Indiana Jones thing for like no reason. Yeah, it's not a weight issue. That must be. Has that been established? No, that it has to have weight. No, it hasn't. No. The the theme of this movie is just like but worse. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's we true. have that. There's the uh, uh, arena fights we get from the bad guys. It's just like Escape from New York, but worse. <laughs> is that a new one or oh, is this he back? Is so pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think on the script one, pages. I, this yeah, is I can to visualize be. what they're going for. Yeah. Yeah. One confirmed kick. Yeah. Yeah. This was, he was like the emperor, and there was gonna be thousands of people cheering us as gladiator. Oh, we have zero extras. But they, nobody showed up. <laughs> the, ba the bad guy goes to the chain link fence that they can't get through, yeah. and he gives a speech asking them to give up. Freebies, this is your supreme commander, Lincoln! Yeah. Yeah. He uses this gas to terrorize trade town. We're not afraid. Just like Mad Max, but worse. Yeah. Just walk away. He has a, a sexy lady friend who dances with a snake, just like a James Bond villain, but significantly worse. I was gonna say, it's just like Night of the Kick Fighters, but worse. <laughs> <laughs> he's, a, he's the worst actor, Ron Marchini, which is exemplified the most in the one scene with David Carradine, mm. uh, who we all remember from, from dying, uh, while masturbating. He did some other things in life, but mainly we remember him for choking himself to death <laughs> while jerking off. That's what he'll be known for. Yes. He did some film work. Forever but, and always. Wait, wait, David Carradine died via autoerotic asphyxiation? Yes. Oh, that's horribly embarrassing. Like, I know, I know. Like, if that happened, like, that'd be the only thing people would remember about I your know. entire life. The, you'll, you'll never live it down. Well, he certainly won't live it down <laughs> because he died via autoerotic <laughs> asphyxiation. <laughs> 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 It's on his. It's on his fucking tombstone. Like he died jerking <laughs> off. <laughs> it doesn't even have his name. No. It just his tombstone just says he died via <laughs> autoerotic asphyxiation. Just don't even remember. And who then he some was. sort of. Is there like an emoji for embarrassment? Is that on his tombstone? <laughs> it is. Is this the post apocalypse or is this just Arkansas? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why, well, just this morning, my son Tom. Cut himself a Jackie Rabbit. Hardly any boils on him at all. And he was still kicking when he caught him. So, the special of the day is, uh, there's Jackie Rabbit's too. You haven't seen a motorcycle around here, have you? Oh, his acting hurts me. <laughs> yeah, something. I used to be a cop. Oh, God. Oh, Every shit. line. Oh, yeah. Not that it's any of my business, but why would a cop? You're right. It's none of your business. It's even more like noticeable what he's acting opposite well, David Carradine. Yeah. Like the other uh, scene with that that shitty actress. It's all the same. Yeah, yeah. Say, uh, shut up. Oh, no. Did she put on a scientist cap and take the to laugh? Did she put on glasses too? Yeah. Did she put on glasses? It's a dirty lab coat. She's a scientist now. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, science, I better put on my glasses! <laughs> 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 
Did you know David Carradine died of autoerotic asphyxiation? Like a belt. Yeah. He strangled himself while masturbating. Mm -hmm. So did so did Ron Mariachi, <laughs> only poorly. <laughs> <laughs> well, the point is that uh, subversing your expectations in and of itself. Subverting. The point is that subverting your expectations in and of itself. So is when all he you does it, to... he gets to take it again, and when I do it, it's <laughs> fuck you. I corrected Jack too. Yeah. I just don't correct you, because then we use it in the video. <laughs> <laughs> so we I was going to make a Star Wars joke, but it's over now. R Rich keeps cutting you off. Yeah, yeah. So I'm the bad guy. You subverted expectations by cutting me off. <laughs> and as we all know, subverting expectations in and of itself is an accomplishment, <laughs> regardless of how, it is, how satisfying it is narratively. You know, I like plot twists that, that make the story less interesting. <laughs> But the best, the best part about, you know, the Christmas light is, you know, it, it's a story about a snowman. You see, I subverted your expectations oh my God, by subverting the subversion. Oh, that's immediate and satisfying. The thing that you thought was going to happen in the first place happens. Nothing was accomplished, but I'm satisfied because you subverted my expectations. Yay! <laughs> Star Wars! <laughs> <Peter's now. laughs> So Rich, what is uh, Night of the Kick Fighters about? Well, you know, contrary to what you'd think based on the title, it is not a movie about a large group of kick fighters who just invade a small town and just start kicking everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the locals have to survive the night and avoid the deadly feat. <laughs> That's kind of what I was hoping for yeah. in my heart of hearts. I was hoping for more badly photoshopped faces onto muscular bodies. We don't get any of that. <laughs> the story of Night of the Kick Fighters is uh, Adam West. God rest his soul. R.I.P. He, he makes super laser that doesn't shoot people. By utilizing the new SDI laser technology, the striking power of this weapon will outblast anything we've ever built before. <laughs> oh, I could listen to him all I day. I just picture him, like, reading the line. Yeah. <laughs> and the bad guys want it, so they kidnap his daughter. So then Adam West hires an old dopey looking guy <laughs> who's gonna who's gonna get together a team. A team of specialists with with very, you know, well defined skills, and then they just run around a warehouse in black for an hour, and then I don't know, a car drives off a cliff. <laughs> You need it. You need it established before the fact. We need somebody who can get through this lock. I know. Uh, I know a magician who's a, a world's best yeah. lock pick. There's nothing specific that he does. Uh, at one point, he does like a poof, like a flame in front of a guy to distract him, and then he pulls out an inflatable dinosaur, which has nothing to do with magic. Classic what magician. The fuck was that? <laughs> That's all they had. Andy and Bauman, Andy Bauman. Your uncle. No. Yeah, uncle Andy. <laughs> He's, we, 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 don't, we don't talk about Uncle Andy. Oh, okay. <laughs> we don't talk about him anymore. <laughs> he made that, he had a, such a successful business and then he put all of his money into that Kick Fighter movie. <laughs> and now he lives in the backyard in a trailer. <laughs> <laughs> So the movie opens with a super sexy spy scene. Don't be surprised. I know you're CIA, mister. Advice from a friend? Are they filming this in a mall? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. The Cinnabon closes in 20 minutes. <laughs> where, where... The, the woman played by the uh, killer from Killer Workout. Look, is this what you wanted to see? <laughs> Are you sure that's her? Because that's her. I, I can't tell because this woman clearly has several accents. <laughs> <laughs> she's French, she's German, she's Israeli at the beginning. These bodies bell me. At least the Israelis fight back and make it exciting. You will see precisely why your father will do everything I tell him. You just kind of pull the lever on the but, but it's not a thing where it's like, oh, she can do all these different personalities and accents. It's just inconsistent. Yes, very inconsistent. Wildly. Wildly inconsistent. <laughs> Wildly inconsistent. Incons in in the Simpsons? What? <laughs> Wildly inconsistent. Wildly the Simpsons. Do you, do you want to take that again? Inconsistent. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry. Jay will cut all this out. Yeah, absolutely. Inconsistent. But he has to assemble this ragtag team 
to rescue a woman that's been kidnapped, Ocean's Eleven style. Uh, and we, we painst- Ocean's negative 11. <laughs> <laughs> we painstakingly go through one after the other. He has to recover- <laughs> this guy laughing at my bad jokes. That's not bad! Negative that's, 11? That's not bad! <laughs> it's bad. The bar in this, though, is one of my favorite movie B movie sets of all time. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's so it's, sad. It's amazing. Wait, is this a like supposed to be a joke? No, <laughs> no, no. That's that is a. This is they found a bar they could shoot in, and they're doing their best to make it look like a strip club. That's the <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Quite clearly what they are going for is the seedy strip club where the bar fights break out, nobody bats an eye, but yeah. they're in like like this really nice bar. It's not a it's, strip club, it's a bar. It's got nice fixtures and glass panels and it's, yeah. it's well lit. Yes. There's a woman dancing in front of a bed sheet that they hung from the ceiling. <laughs> on a, on, what is she standing on, like a cardboard box? <laughs> the, the stage is no bigger than this table. Yeah. It's pathetic. It's pathetic. <laughs> it's make me sad. It's just supremely pathetic. Yeah. Who are these people? What's that? It's a fan. It's a picture. That's a fan with some model parts glued to it. That's the radar dish. Yes, that yes. is. <laughs> that is a fan. Not, not even model parts. The, the things tree. that you yeah. put the nice. pluck the models out of. <laughs> But that, uh, that was my favorite part of the of the prop of the little miniature that they built was they couldn't even take the miniature doodads off of it and glue them onto it. They just kept the tree on just and the everything. whole thing, just spray painted gold or silver or whatever the fuck well, color it, it was. It's weird though, because it was like like a like an oscillating fan, right? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. one that. So was this oscillating fan this big, <laughs> or was it? A really big model kit. <laughs> or was it a composite image? Well, you can get those oscillating fans that are like this big. It was but no one that. has a model kit that's this big. It wasn't that much bigger than the fan. It was like, I think it might have been glued somewhere up on the back. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. This is what we're talking about. This is, this is our conversation. Welcome to the show, Mike. <laughs> this is what we do every fucking episode. <laughs> oh, jeez. Can't we just enjoy the magic of the film and the message, which is that it's a film about family. But it also subverts your expectations because I did not expect a radar dish to look like an oscillating <laughs> fan. <laughs> And that's the kind of thing that keeps you constantly engaged. Yeah. I did not expect a basement to be filled with water for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> Some, somebody turned on the, the, the crank that opened just the thing. Flood that of water to this uh, hallway. <laughs> Waterproof hallway. And, and, and yet, like you that said, had Jack, no payoff. it was a watertight building. Yeah. It was like the end of Titanic where the ship's sinking and the water's coming up. Except for that was a ship in the ocean. <laughs> and this is just a building. <laughs> Where the water has plenty of places to go. Yeah. Buildings usually don't fill up with water. It well, rarely doors have ha gaps under them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like, there's the outside, yeah. and the whole like uh, we're on planet Earth thing. <laughs> <laughs> like, like buildings are not the same as as ships on well, this the This is right? this movie subverts your expectations of reality. He has nunchucks. We've never seen him use nunchucks before, but no. the idea it was- He's a kick fighter. <laughs> He's a kick fighter. It was supposed to be an Indiana Jones moment. <laughs> but he's doing the fancy nunchuck stuff, but then the nunchucks are actually gunchucks. Mm -hmm. But it was Yeah, nice. we don't even have a- like Gunchunks, a, like, TM, Red Letter Media. Gunchunks? Gunchunks. <laughs> Little uh, pieces of guns. Rich, rich, <laughs> sauce in a stew. Just Fuck junk. my life. Rich, you know what? Rich needs a t-shirt that says, that's staying in. <laughs> <laughs> and you can just wear it. Wear it all. <laughs> oh.
<laughs> oh, that was exquisite. That, that was, was exquisite. That was beautiful. He stumbled into a bunch of burning oil burnels. <laughs> that they cut to an unrelated explosion of oil burnels. That was great. That was great. They showed the ground for a second, and yeah. it was like a five-foot drop-off. Yeah. So they saw it coming, but it wasn't as big as that. <laughs> and then they fell into they the jungle. They must have been driving straight towards yeah. that the whole time! Yeah. <laughs> they didn't notice it until the last second. <laughs> if I want to be an actress, I have to move out of Maryland. <laughs> I've always told myself that. Honey, I'm sorry. What? She's getting drunk. She's like, I thought I signed up for a Christmas horror film, but this is just going to be a porno, isn't it? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> no, I thought I signed up for a porno, but this is going to be a Christmas horror film. Oh, God. Christmas horror film. <laughs> so much worse. <laughs> <laughs> bitch. Oh, bitch, huh? Bitch. Who's the bitch now, huh? Who's the bitch now? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fun. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do that? <laughs> I have so many questions. <laughs> I, I, I see... It's just the stills here. Is that number one, Santa's bringing Christmas for our forest family, which is a wolf. <laughs> or possibly a dog that looks something like a wolf. What is wrong with Santa? That's a very good question. Um... What? It looks like he got like killed by the abominable snowman. It does. I think we've got a Wendigo. No, on no our wait. Hands. This this uh, this looks like The Shining, starring Santa Claus. <laughs> well, he's got a problem. His elf's heart is not in her work. <laughs> I thought that was an overworked nursing student. Uh, me too. But apparently, no. That's that's his one and only elf. <laughs> We do the best we can. Help them. Oh, how did you make this beautiful place? Well, I didn't make this place. Somebody greater than I made it. I just found it. Oh, now you're walking in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Richie, Rich, you look horrified. I am horrified. <laughs> what are we watching? <laughs> oh, we're back here again. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Your mother's a bitch. We have to mention this. The the main guy in the movie... They didn't have ho-hos. ...is like a 60-year-old man that had a bunch of plastic surgery to so, look like a 30-year-old man, I think? So much for my Christmas bonus. He looks like he's wearing prosthetics. Like, yeah. it looks like that's not his real face. Yeah, yeah like, he, he got plastic surgery to look like Charles Rocket. Charles Rocket, he looks like Anthony Perkins. He uh, looks like Bill Nye, Bill Christopher Nye. Reeve. Well, he kind of looks like Benedict Cumberbatch a little. Not there. <laughs> Every time they showed his face, I just wanted him to leave. Yeah. There's a weird elasticity, like, that it looks fake, and I'm yeah. sure that's his actual face, right. and I feel bad saying it. <laughs> I it don't. It looks weird. He does a weird, like, Elvis lip thing when he's talking. He's like, nah. and it's, it's just... They probably had enough, and even if they haven't, well, I'll make them wish that they hadn't tried to have enough of wishing that they had. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, they're driving. They're doing a rear screen projection. Wow. And it looks great. <laughs> <laughs> but the rest of the movie, then, is just, yeah, they, they find not Tony Todd, yep. who has Rudolph's nose, and then He's they run away from the elves, and the rest of the movie is just the elves trying to get them. And Santa is evil, but then real Santa well, shows up. Yeah, Santa shows up, and he's referred to as Klaus Feratu. Mm -hmm. oh, womp, womp. Yeah. And then actual Santa shows up, and he's a 15-year-old boy. <laughs> and then they fight. I thought he was Santa. Him? Santa? 
Could they get someone other than a 15 year old boy to play Stamp Rock? <laughs> That's Moneymaker Mike, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know. I know they think this is funny. It's not. But you could just stop there. <laughs> <laughs> like they should be shooting around Christmas magic. Silence. Wait, I gotta see if they do the gong every time they cut back to them. <laughs> no? Okay. Like, isn't it crazy that three nuns showed up? Yeah. yeah. And I think they had porn stars play the nuns, because their names, one of them had three X's in the name. <laughs> oh, right? <laughs> Yeah, like and they highlighted way. them. Yeah. You know how like, well, like you're, you're like your sleazy like I don't know uh, Lloyd Kaufman's or uh, people like that. Yeah, it makes you want to. Sh Ron take a shower. Jeremy shows up in a lot of B movies. Yeah, it's, it's that like kind of mentality. Where sure. it's like, we got Ron Jeremy to say one line. <laughs> <laughs> Ginger Lynn's the newscaster. <laughs> a medical discovery by the world-renowned Dr. Lucas of Grizzly Flats. The things, uh -huh. yeah, 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 and that could have been what that was, except they would have been maybe regionally known as porn stars. <laughs> I'm, there, I'm there, speculating; is, they may not have been porn stars. Is there regional Maryland porn? Uh, <laughs> She's been to the Maryland porn scene. <laughs> I just like to hear the accents when they're going at it. I got this one hot movie where she covered her breast in clam chowder. <laughs> Deep in downtown Balmer. Yeah, I, I hate that, like, look at us. We have these crazy elements in our movie, yeah, and it's yeah. so over the... Jesus is in a mm, death metal band, and then he has... If it's really clever and funny, you can make it work, but... And that's the thing, like... It I has to be, like... James Gunn clever yeah, writing. But even still, you know like, I mean? if, like, again, if we were redoing that, we'd take a lot of that stuff out. But, but I think you need the, the top tier, the top brass of talent yeah. in the world yeah. to do that. I, okay. I, just, I just don't think it's worth anyone's time. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good woman you got there, Gabriel. Yeah. And her nice ass on her, too. <laughs> Didn't make it go off, Jay. Oh. <clears throat> Draw harder. Fatality. Uninvited is the story about a, a, a genetically augmented cat <laughs> that is a cat inside of another cat. It did something. <laughs> Movie. That was a great fake cat head. Oh, <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, <laughs> Did the mutant it's cat crawl back inside? I guess. Cat? And he escapes from a government lab yeah. where, where he ends up on, on the boat, on the yacht of evil lord business. How does he end up on the boat? Well, he gets picked up by some chicks. <gasps> the garbage. <laughs> How'd it get in there? The cat gets picked up by some chicks who get picked up by an evil businessman as cover for his trip to a bank. Yes! <laughs> yes. In the, the, the Cayman? In the Cayman, on the Cayman yeah. Islands. Yep. Yep. They're, they're, they're taking suitcases of money to the Cayman Islands to launder it? It yeah. doesn't matter. Evil business, evil, evil. Uh, crooked crime, white collar crime. Need to get to Cayman Islands. Need girls as cover story. Because I guess you just can't go to the Cayman Islands. Yeah. It'll look like he's just floating around on a yacht with some bikini babes. Even though there's nobody else out to see him. In case him. the Coast Guard stops him. He's, I'm just going out on my yacht with these ladies. Don't look around for suitcases Isn't full of Isn't it more money. suspicious when you're like a, a like a greasy porn stash middle-aged man and you're hanging out with like 20-year-old hey, bikini no, bimbos? No, not in the early 90s. Absolutely not. <laughs> oh, no. No, that's what they pay for. Oh, okay. This is okay. the era This is the era of Reaganomics. Yeah. Okay. The it's, Coast Guard didn't even bother looking for the cocaine. No. <laughs> Look, we know you got <laughs> partying with babes. Yeah, I don't even know where the coke was. We know you got tons of coke. 
<laughs> and, and bimbos, and there may be prostitution, but as long as you don't have suitcases filled with millions of dollars you plan to launder, we don't need to come on board, sir. That, that's pretty much it. Have We're fun never... with your teenage babes. Right. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh, they threw a car down a cliff. <laughs> it's like the same glass. They ran out of sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> and they had a truck that they could drive off the edge of a bridge. Yeah. And they could only afford one sound effect. <laughs> they could only afford half of a sound effect. They hit it hard. And it's like it's like a note on a keyboard, and they just do it over and over and over. They had a hard edit at the end of the sound effect, so they had yeah. to hit it again before it ended. <laughs> oh, it's It was wonderful. almost musical, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm picturing like a, a making of uninvited documentary. Like years ahead, they get the cast back together and they interview yeah, them. Cat in the chair. <laughs> yeah, cat, a little cat wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> no, it keeps <laughs> meowing, but its mouth doesn't move. Oh, yeah. Just like the old days. Yeah, things don't change. <laughs> There's a cat interpreter speaking for him. He's very disappointed with how the film turned out. <laughs> <laughs> so much for that subplot. That's a good guy. Wow. That gets its attention instead? And it did. Oh, it worked. That's oh, good. It <laughs> 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 it's just staring at him. <laughs> it just went a lot of breath. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so greedy and they don't understand. Oh, there you are. Hi, Santa. What's the problem? Uh, oh my god. <laughs> oh, wow. This is a feature length film. No, it's not. It it's is. 80, 85 minutes. Yep. Get set, everybody. <laughs> Remember how Christmas used to be, Santa? They'd just come down in the morning and. What? <laughs> <laughs> Was this edited live? I think, I'm pretty <laughs> sure. It's like a public okay. access live show. <laughs> just working that lever. I think I cracked, I just, my brain cracked. I just couldn't stop laughing, and I wasn't laughing at anything in particular. <laughs> what? Oh, what? God. You probably need no help for that. What? <laughs> they forgot the wireless this day. <laughs> you were laughing that it was that inept. No, I was just laughing like like a person in a straitjacket would laugh. <laughs> like there was no context. I was just like, ah, my brain stopped working. I can't believe it. I'm calling in sick next Christmas episode. <laughs> So Jack Frost, do your magic tricks Let the nations wonder How one who's said to be so bad Can fill the world with splendor No, this time Santa's problem Is a pesky little elf you know how in most musicals, when a song starts, like, things happen? Yeah, the they just sit there. Not so much with this one. Just close up to people looking yeah. miserable. Also, when the sky is just crying. <laughs> Frank Whirly song. But the Frank Whirly song plays, and usually in a movie, when you have a musical number, you know, you have characters singing or dancing, or it, it just holds on this girl crying for 25 minutes. 
Um, now I know why they call it the flyover zone. Because <laughs> it's full of crying elves? Because <laughs> this, is, this is what the Midwest produces. Just tell me why you think it can't work and I'll have, give you a reason to make it so. <laughs> I'll have give you a reason. <laughs> With the population growing the way it is, I can hardly make my rounds before it gets uh, light the way it is. Then just make the rounds during the day. That could work. <laughs> <laughs> Stan and I never thought of that. Oh. Dumbass. So they spend a year putting the sled back together. They spend a year fixing Santa's old sled. Uh, so I just gotta stay here for a while. Santa's lawn chair? <sighs> Frank Worley, song three, coming up soon. Oh, this sucks. Doesn't this? <laughs> this, Rich, this just sucks. Rich, doesn't this, doesn't this put you in the Christmas spirit? No! <laughs> we got Santa, we got reindeers, we got Christmas songs. I don't know what more you want. The cat movie put me in the Christmas spirit. <laughs> oh, we got a warehouse. <laughs> we got Santa's garage. Grandma's shed. Santa's oh, creepy yeah. tarp. There's a, there's there's a 35 close-up shots of her out of focus. <laughs> tiny baby, tiny baby, <laughs> playing over Frank Worley's beautiful music, <laughs> and then eventually Christy grows up, and there's a montage sequence where Santa trains her. And the rest, we add a. Is that just a big pile of headstones? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Is that like the graveyard headstone dumping ground? It's all the old reindeer. Oh, yeah. What is that? All the old elves. The elves are tiny anyway. He's sticking his finger up that reindeer's ass. <laughs> <laughs>